How you doing, man? My name is Jared with the Satellite Company. <sighs> Hello, Jared. It's nice to meet you. Now my work and I'm doing great. Well, that's good to hear. Now my work order says that you're getting our whole home DVR system. Is that correct? Well, I guess so. Is that where I can record? Yes, ma'am. It is. Well, that's the one then. <laughs> All right, ma'am. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, just let me know, okay? And there. All right, ma'am, I'm all set. Oh, you are? Now I'm going to just briefly explain the system to you. Before you do that, can you connect this DVD player? Sure, ma'am, no problem. Well, while you're down there, can you connect my VCR too? What about this one? All right, ma'am, now that I got everything you want to connect it, I'm just going to take a couple minutes to explain to you how to switch between the devices that you want to watch. Okay, so say you watch a television, and you decide, eh, I don't like what's on TV. I want to watch a DVD. So to switch between your TV and your DVD player, you're going to first pick up your television remote. This one? No, ma'am, that's your DVD player remote. You're going to need your television remote. This one? You're going to need your television remote. And the television remote is going to be your bridge to cross between the devices that you want to watch. So, let's try this again. If you could just grab the television remote. That's the one. Great job. So, once you have your television remote in your hand, you're going to go ahead and hit the input button on your television remote until you get to the DVD input on your television. And once you get to the DVD input on your television, you're going to go ahead and pick up the DVD remote. And then from there, you can operate your DVD player. Now, if you want to get back to watching television, you're going to have to pick up your television remote, press the input button until you get back to the television input. And then once you get there, you're going to have to go ahead and pick up your cable remote. Now, let's say you want to go ahead and watch a VCR. All right, so you're watching TV, you want to go to the VCR, you're going to have to pick up your television remote again. You're going to have to hit the, press the input button on that remote until you get the VCR input on your television. And once you get to the VCR input on your television, you're going to have to...